Welcome to Reality After Show, coverage of Australian Survivor, Titans v. Rebels. We're talking episodes 22, 23, and the grand final, as they say in Australia. We say finale here. I'm Johnny Fairplay, joined as always by Survivor expert, Dan Monchel, and a special guest. Uh, for those of you that have not watched the grand final, uh, spoiler alert, uh, he doesn't win. Um <laughs> But you know what you did win? You're my favorite survivor from the season. Don't tell the others. They're listening. Uh, I'll give it a secret. I won't tell Eden. <laughs> yes, I love Eden too. I I love Ferris. So uh, Kirby, I didn't get a lot. Of, I didn't get a lot of time to talk to her. Raymond, yeah. I'm just here to make fun of him. Nothing else. Okay. Uh, I well, I'm him. I'm wearing this wig in Ray and and Johnny's on us. So you know. yes. So uh, I'm I'm gonna okay. share a pick. But but before we get so two things. Number one. Uh. You're in a pre exclusive club, Mark. Uh, I myself, who I consider one of the greatest survivors of all time, Johnny Fairplay, I finished so third. Man, I'm happy. Third's okay. the best place to finish if you don't win. Lex Vandenberg finished third. He was my so then on Lex. Let me let me jump in on Lex. I man, even before All Styles, but no, Lex is great. But um, he when he got out in a Survivor Africa, I was like so devastated. I was a Lex super fan. And I always thought the best season to create of US Survivor um, would be last person voted off. If you go through the list, Cessonino, Fair Play, Lex, the list is incredible. Um, Kathy O'Brien? Is Sari as well in that figure? Sari. Is Sari, Sari in Micronesia? Yeah. Fans, fans Sari in Micronesia. Yeah. Like, it's a stellar. So, man, I am, like, I, this, if, if I can't win, I join this club. That's the best. That's it's the best. Ticket. So, well, number one, welcome to the club. Number two, yeah. Dan, I'm sorry. Do not call him a crybaby during this podcast. Okay, no, I, 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 I did not. Those words never came out of my mouth. <laughs> Just, no, so, uh, we'll so get I there. In touch with your emotions. It's all good. We'll get there. I cried watching you cry. Oh, that's that's, a, that's how much you. I like you. So Thanks, uh, once again, exclusive company. Uh, okay. Let me, if if you don't mind, a, a, a quick bit of uh, show it show and tell here. Uh, I was in Australia earlier. Um, oh, shoot. Let me help somebody do this. So, so I, I was in Australia uh, the second week of your season. Would have been there for premiere week, but, you know, you guys like to move the premieres. It's, it's funny. Other ideas. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, I go to a party and it's just like, okay, so some survivors may or may not be there. Some may not be allowed. Who's to say? All I know is this guy shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Garrick. <laughs> What's Garrick doing? <laughs> so, no. uh, Mark, you're 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 a pretty funny guy. I I I I think we got glimpses of your humor during the season. You're yeah. hilarious. I mean, who, oh, who like you. you're wearing the jacket from the show. And you're wearing it now, okay? And you wear a wig. So we're done with the event. <laughs> Two hours later, we're at another bar. You're still wearing the wig. Mate, <laughs> you got a rocket. Why not? I shelled out like $7 for this thing. You got to get his you know, <laughs> money's worth. So, well, uh, you guys do have the best wigs in Australia. Uh, Big Tom and Lex went to Australia for for an appearance at Armageddon Expo. Uh, yeah. God, like 16 years ago. And yeah. there is there's a wig that looks very similar to my hair that, that <laughs> Lex bought for Big Tom. And every time oh. I go to Big Tom's, he he, he dons the wig. So I, I will that. be taking uh, King Man. George there in a couple of weeks. And Big Tom, I guarantee, will be wearing the Johnny Fairplay wig. My goodness, those are, I love, I love, I love that, those, that era of Survivor, like yeah. just, oh, it's the best, big Tom. Well, well, Lex, Lex has been following along, he's watching yeah. the finale in an oh. hour, and I was oh, just Lex, like, hello, I love I was you. like, when are you watching, and he was just like, an hour, I was just like, I have someone, I, I, I have a final competitor no way. on the podcast, and he goes, who, and I'm like, I don't want to spoil it. And yeah. he was like, what do you mean? I'm just like, maybe I have the winner. And he, was like, <laughs> he, he goes, well, whoever it is, tell them I said hello, send them my oh best, my and gosh. let them know that I love this season. And we all, I, yeah, I don't know. 
I, I need I need a I need a little time to digest it. Sure. This may be the greatest season in the history of Survivor. Oh, we said it. I look. I've watched. Actually, I haven't watched every season. New Era. Oh, I missed yeah. a few. Um, <laughs> and I actually missed um, Fiji. Uh, I didn't watch Fiji. Um, but there's something about the um, every single episode delivers. That in my so this yeah. is my opinion. I'm still digesting to it. Every single episode delivers. Um, the, the diversity for Australian Survivor is like the best we've ever had. Ferris is an amazing winner. Mm. Caroline is a beast. So like an amazing final two. Um, but there was like the Frank, like from day one, there was no easy votes. There was nowhere to hide. You know, there was no big alliance, boring sort of like, are you a flipper or not? Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, the dynamics of it were really fun for me. Uh, uh, it, so. And even the non-elimination, I mean, the, the Alex to the other tribe, I guess mm. is the weakest, yeah. but still I didn't hate it. And yeah, you see Caroline dominating. Like she's great. Yeah, and and the, and and then the the sabotage, uh, the sabotage, non sabotage, still entertainment. Yeah, Kelly, she's a lot, but yeah, I can see she makes good TV. <laughs> yeah, and and then uh, and and then the uh, you know, going into tribal with forty minutes left in the episode, and and Ferris saves himself. I mean, I just I just thought from start to finish, no no duds. Man, I mean, awesome. Thank you. Is, isn't that how you? Isn't that? one of the categories for putting together the greatest season ever no duds competition throughout mm. happy with the winner happy yeah. with the final challenge i mean yeah. Jeez, yeah, we yeah. don't hate the the non-elimination episodes yeah look i'm totally biased and uh if johnny fairplay wants to say it's the best of all time like hey who am i to disagree i mean let it's, me know it's... what lex thinks i want to go back to lex just really quickly sure. when i was at high school uh <laughs> I was watching, uh, I think it was All Stars was on, and um, I had this modern history teacher who was a survivor nut, and um, and we were just argue all the time about um, Lex's move with um, Boss and Rob, obviously that move, and uh, <laughs> and it was just it's just funny because I haven't thought about that in a while, but like that teacher reached out to me while Survivor was on, and I haven't spoken to this guy in you know decades, and he's like, Mark, I remember you. We used to talk about Lex. So there you go, the Lex thing, the Lex lives. Um, but yeah, it was an awesome season. Uh, and all, when we were a part of it out there as well, I was just like thinking to myself, this is, we are cooking with gas here. This is so much fun. And uh, and I'm in the best, I'm in with, I've got an alliance with Viola and Valeria. Like I'm getting on TV. Like these yeah. girls are hot. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so this is sweet. Peek behind the curtain on the Lex thing. So going into All Stars, him, mm -hmm. uh, Lex and, and, and Boston Rob were the best of friends. Uh, they were flying across the country, staying with one another, like like they were BFFs. Yeah. So, and Lex was tight with Ethan, but they had already told all the winners, they're just like, "We're sending you home. You've already won." Yeah, yeah. So, like, so it wasn't, you know, because everyone was like, "Well, what did Lex do to Ethan?" It's just like that. That was yeah, discussed was, before that they was went out. There. Knowledge. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so then, so when Boston Rob comes to Lex, he's just like, "Hey, I need you to protect Amba." Blah blah blah. Yeah. And Lex goes, "Dude, where I am placement, like." It doesn't help my game. And he's like, yeah. I'm asking you as a brother, not at, yeah. not not in the game. Out of the game. Out of the game. <laughs> out of the game. And he was like, Okay, you're my brother. I'll do this. So he did it. So then they'd have the swap. They had the swap. Lex on the bottom. And Lex was like, Hey. And he goes, Sorry. And he was like, Dude, I, he was like, Game, game, brother. Can't do it. And he was like, I literally did outside the game. He was like, Yeah, that's not how I play. Yeah. You so, know what? I, I, I reckon if take Viola. If Viola did that, if Viola, if Viola was Boston Rob and I'm Lex, if she asked me that, I would do it. Like, that's how much I care about yeah. Viola. So if, if someone takes it out of the game that much for me, I'm surprised. Like, I'm, I'm a massive fan of the show. And, like, as a fan, you're watching and you go, oh, well, there's no way. Know, it, whatever. But, like, if, if, if Viola came up, man, I probably shouldn't say this in case. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but... but yeah, you know, if Yol and Valeria came up to me and said, "Look after my boy or whatever," I'd do it. I know. I mean, like it, you just deep bond. You give Only yourself. Only those two. Only so, those two. And and Lex will tell you, like you know, for because there's people that have called him out. Over, they're just like, "Oh, sour grapes, sour," but you know, wow. whatever. He's just like he 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 will admittedly tell you, Boston Rob is obviously a better player than him because mm. he can't separate the two. Yeah. 
Mm. I'm happy with that. I'm sure Lex is fine with himself, right? He's Lex like, sleeps I'm... very well at night. Yeah. He's fine. He's totally fine. He's <laughs> like, okay, well, you chose to do that. Um, yeah. You know, whatever. But imagine if it goes the other way around. And he's just like, you know, look like it could. Yeah, who knows? I mean, I love Lex. Always love Lex. And yeah. yeah. Uh, good if, it, if it goes the other way around, Ethan's back. Because Ethan was with, with Amber before All Stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. E Ethan's with Amber on the pond, uh, on the Ponderosa or on on the on the trip abroad. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that now. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, only what it could have shut up. What a, okay. what a segue! What a segue! Sorry, yeah. Guys. All right. Uh, last thing before we get down to business, uh, mm -hmm. a little bit of house cleaning here. Uh, and of course, why would I have this? Oh well, I'll show this while I'm loading the other. Uh, I got a. I'm doing viewing parties with King George across the United States. This one just added literally an hour ago. Wednesday, hey. May 15th, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We're going to be at Crab Catchers. It is a free event. You just have to go to SurvivorTix.com to register to get your ticket. And uh, uh, hold on. Uh, we... You have Kirby Bentley on the screen. I, I know. Do people hear that? You have uh, Kirby yes. Bentley on the screen. So it's me and King George at Crab Catchers in Little River slash Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Kirby is coming <laughs> to the yeah. party. That's is that insane. insane? Why would you not go? South Carolina, <laughs> Little River, crab catchers. This crab is like, catchers. <laughs> what, what else could you be possibly be doing? I, I have no idea. So, uh, yeah. So Get I don't around it. Free okay, event. So, free event. So, everything else is uh, not a free event. This is a free event. And uh, uh, the last thing I'll promote, and then, then we'll, we'll get into discussion uh, because King George yells at me and I'm. I'm scared. Uh, I'm scared. Have you been yelled at by King George yet? What? No. Okay. Uh, it's coming. All right. Uh, here's all the parties. Uh, next week, I'm going to be at Jax's uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, her, the Raquel will be there. Sam Webb will be there along with U.S. Ooh. survivors. Uh, Durham, North Carolina the following week uh, on April 3rd. Uh, Chicago, the VIP only, limited to 30 people. We are halfway sold out. Uh, that is, it's free Halfway food, free, free, free <laughs> beer, go. free wine. It's insane. Uh, limited 30 people, uh, survivor ticks.com for all these Cincinnati, Ohio, just announced Charlottesville, Virginia, uh, on, on April 24th, uh, May 1st, Dan will be there at protagonist beer and then Myrtle beach. So, uh, that's all of them go to, Oh, here we go. Oh, here no spoiler. Look at the screen for this. Get out. Whoa! Oh my God. <laughs> Lex, I love you, man. Oh, this is crazy. Cry <laughs> Baby Mark is coming out. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh now, my God. Mark, is that is that you, Mark? It is. Sorry, I should. No, me. no. The only reason I ask is because I'm I'm actually joining on my phone and I don't have <laughs> I'm 60 years old. I don't have my fucking glasses, so I can't see very well. You're 60. He's wearing a wig. He looks so good. I'm wearing oh, a Mark, it's so good to see you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mark, Dude, Mark, this is Mark, this is I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what happens. Yes. Um, yet. I, we're, we're, I'm, I'm going to be watching in about a half hour, but I, sh I should still say lit, just absolute proper legend status goes to you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lex, I was just saying during Fair Play, like, I loved you from, from back in Africa. I was, like, your biggest fan. I listened to punk rock music as well back in the day, like, you know, No Effects, Bad Religion, Pennywise, and I saw you out there with the, the, the I think, a Dicky stuff on, and I used to talk yes. to my high school teacher. I used to talk to my high school teacher. I was like, how good is Lex? And, uh, and, and um, sorry, I always say that. <laughs> spoiler. But um, he messaged me. This teacher messaged me, like, decades later. He's like, hey, Mark. That's you on Survival. We used to talk about Lex, and then here you are. Thank you so oh much. That means so much to me. How are you? Uh, this, well, this is. I, you know what? I'm glad that I joined. I, I can only join for a few minutes because it's, it's I've fine. got I've got other stuff going. But I'm so glad I did because I get to have uh, a few minutes here to um to just liter to connect like real time for yeah, real yeah. with you, and that's that's amazing. And Mark's oh. a drummer. Yeah, I've got my drum kit right here. Yeah, here's my. Uh, I've got um Roland V drums right there. Oh, killer! A, I, I taught myself how to um play guitar. I'm not very good. Um, but I I played uh, I played in like rock bands, jazz bands, 
percussionist, xylophone, timpani, symphony orchestras, uh, big bands. Yeah, all of it. Love the drums. Oh, uh, that's that's so why great. that's why I did well in the um, sim motion because right. um, the rhythm, it's, like beats and rhythm. I it's all about it's yeah. all about the meter. It's all mm -hmm. about the meter. It was a metronome, man. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Oh, mm. it is so. I, I hope I hope one day we can actually connect and meet face to face. That would be that would I be the that. Honor, right. I would really, really love that. Yeah. Um, this is so cool. You know, like, um, I think Ian and I, like, we were just massive fans. So Caroline, too, there's a few of us. Um, but uh, this is just, yeah, I'm, I'm actually speechless. This is really, really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, can I ask you, how, how old are you? I always forget. I'm 36, so I'm not middle-aged. <laughs> okay, so, so, yeah, so, so I'm, I'm just trying to do the math. So when, when Survivor africa was out you were like about what around 14 so 13 or 2001 2002 yeah 2001 yeah, so i was born in 87 so it was at like 14 15 years old Amen. wow okay cool cool well yeah. that's that, that i guess that, that that means i got i guess i got some cool points um for for not for, for still being for being cool to a to a teenager so <laughs> Man, you were the <laughs> best you yeah were we so were just cool. talking like you're one of the <laughs> survivors of all time and oh, I was just, I was like, Lex is, I was like, I invited Lex to join us, but uh, he's, he's watching the finale tonight. He, and he was just like, oh my God, are you kidding me? And I was just like, okay, we'll do no spoilers. Let's have you on for a minute. And that's it. And he was just like, dude, this is the greatest thing ever. My wife and I have been on the edge of our seats. This that's so cool. That's so it's cool. Such, such a delicious season. Mm. Um, Would you say, I, we were talking earlier, is this, I need a little more time to digest, and you don't know you don't know the the final episode yet. But without knowing the fact, is this in contention for one of the greatest seasons of all time? Oh, it's it's. I I would say it has to be at least a top a top three, um, yeah. thing. And and you know between between well, I guess it's not between you and me because I think we're it looks like we're live. <laughs> so <it's, laughs> buddy out there who's watching, but. Um, I mean, I'll I'll go on the record and say that um, Australian Survivor absolutely whoops American Survivor's ass in terms of um, properly leveling up the game with mm. more days in the game. Which mm. it's just you know we've done the opposite. We've we've ratcheted back to like what mm. days, which to me is is laughable joke. Um, but but I mean, you guys you, you guys have your your challenges are super physical. Um, mm. the people, the, the, the people, the producers, the crew, um, who put the show on, I think are firing on all cylinders. I um, agree. Asking is brilliant. The storytelling is great. There's just enough time spent on challenges where I still yeah. get, to know, get to know everybody. The three nights a week, I think is just like, I, I can't believe we haven't, we haven't done that because that's probably the reason that I allow myself the indulgence of watching Big Brother, even though it's, I mean, it's kind of a, sh you know, a shit show and a shit. <laughs> um, but I don't watch Big Brother. I get to follow these people for three days a week, and and to do it on Survivor is like it's it's just so much fun. Um, so, I, Johnny and I have. Talked what are your standout moments, Lex? I want to ask you, like, what are, what are your standout moments from this season so far? What have um, you enjoyed? Um. Well, I have. I have. I he cried. He cried last night with Raymond. Oh, uh, I was I was really pretty sad about oh. that. <laughs> my, my son. <laughs> my, my wife was my wife was absolutely crestfallen. Oh. She was she was furious when Kirby went. I mean, she was oh. furious. Um, for me, my well, my standout moments for me are all about. Um, and this is why I enjoyed. This is what I about Survivor. It's just stand out competitors mm -hmm. and I think that that's you guys are you guys are so um so heavily loaded with really really interesting and hard playing uh competitors mm -hmm. who are all really varied and different like it wouldn't yeah. be if there was a whole bunch of you or a whole bunch of ferris or a whole bunch of kirby or caroline or anybody but the fact that um and that's something i felt to me, it, it is very reminiscent of Survivor Africa, which, you know, mm. holds a near and dear place to my heart because I think that the casting got it really right because every single one of you was radically different yeah. than next. 
it was I always say that Africa was just a freak show of a cast. Mm. Um, the good, the bad, the ugly, the weird, the crazy, every, we were all represented. Yeah. And I think that, that, um, uh, Rebels vs. Titan, same thing. You guys have, um, so, such a diverse group of, of, uh, of cast members. That to me is what stands out. <coughs> yeah. Um, about specific moments because every, I mean, every season has moments, but mm. those the moments are not what sticks with you. Those moments eventually just kind of become ether and you can't recall them. But what really sticks with you are standout uh, right. editors. Mm. Um, they're the people that you remember. The, the fact that you give two shits at all about me 22 years later at this point, um, it's, it says that, you know, that clearly mm. you know, something, something stuck in terms of what you saw when I played something stuck yeah. and and so for me that's that's what makes this season really a out season is that there are so many interesting characters and and uh and competitors out there and you mm. all are, so you're playing really fucking hard yeah. and i have nothing but i have nothing but respect for that yeah. for, that's for awesome me, like. for, for me i i can say i i felt like there were four Four competitors that that rose above the rest for for me personally, and and it was uh, you, Caroline, uh, Ferris, and Kirby, and mm -hmm. I love the fact that you know it's it's two two different stories on two different tribes, and you guys literally took turns every other yeah. week telling your story, and yeah. instead of firing against one another directly, it's mm -hmm. like I'm taking out their first lieutenant, I'm taking out their first lieutenant, and and so the war continues from start to finish. Which yeah. I think is beautiful, you know, versus like, you know, go, uh, uh, survivor ghost Island, you know, it was this, this entire buildup of Chris Noble versus Dom and yeah. the first opportunity to, to finally fire the shot is just like, you know, Dom kills Chris. And it was like, yeah. Oh, okay. Well that, what do, yeah. you, what, what do we do for the rest of the season? Because you, you literally spent seven weeks building up to this moment. And now it's, you know, like you guys don't, they didn't understand TV. Whereas you guys, under the guise of, you know, uh, you know, we have these shields and, and to hurt them, you go after the It's just like, well, there's a show going on. And, and you know, I mean, we don't need to get rid of Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker first. Like, you know, like Boba Fett can die, you know. Uh <laughs> I also feel is um, I feel like and maybe it's because you all are only what is the season of the official season 11 we say nine. We say nine. officially officially nine unofficially <laughs> you guys i feel like you guys have right now are at that perfect kind of convergence of old school survivor but slightly evolved yep and not yet new school ruined survivor yep. <laughs> and i can't agree more with that yeah, and, and, and you guys have also, because I'm, I'm sure probably most of you watch, in one way or another, watch continue to watch American Survivor. I have not watched American Survivor in many, it's, it's been probably, it's been years since yeah. I've watched um, But I feel like um, you guys have, you guys have tastefully taken some of the new school um, kind of strategies and game, you know, game plays, including being willing to play with people that totally screwed you and yeah. benefit from them. That's super smart. It's mature. Um, mm. it's the game matured, but um, Australian Survivor, thanks to both the, the people playing the game, but also thanks to probably production, has mm. not jumped the shark yet and just gone overboard gimmicks and i mean i still have a really hard time with hidden immunity idols i kind of wish they would just all implode and never exist again mm -hmm. but all that said i feel like you guys have just um tastefully you walk that line between new and old school survivor in a way that i'm still completely fucking captivated and it's fucking awesome that's so cool man that's so cool I, I wouldn't want Survivor if it wasn't for Australia. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's cool, right? Like Kirby and Ferris, right? They are the mature. They're both mature people, and they're both fun people. So you yeah. get the you get the combination 
of Ferris, who's got the best face that I've seen on TV ever, and his hair, like and, and Valeria. Uh, yeah, let's not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. I, um, I, I think Ferris is the thing that completely captured and owned me. Other than the fact that I think he's been playing just a, a wicked, wicked good game. And again, I don't know how it ends, but the thing that truly fucking grabbed me is when he s smiles. They call it um. What is that thing from uh, America's Next Top Model? Smizing. His eyes, when he, when he does a deep smile, his eyes smile a hundred times harder than his face. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that. It's like his entire head lights up. Yeah. It's something, I don't know how he does it. It's, it is a skill and a trick that he should probably try to <laughs> weaponize because mm. It's it, it it'll it'll grab you and and mm. you, I can see that it that he could use it to do his bidding. You know what I yeah. mean? Well, well he, he he wasn't smizing the last time Mark got a piece of him at Tribal Council. The last <laughs> <episode>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, rising. <laughs> He was crying with it. <laughs> Mark, Mark was just like, uh, have you ever been to a boxing gym? <laughs> 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 it's just yeah. like, wow, those hurt. <laughs> it, it was both wonderful and really difficult to watch. <laughs> the element of surprise, I think it's called, but yes. <laughs> and and the element of um, just going all in. And yep. fighting, I'm not going to give a fuck on this. I'm just, I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go all in on it. Here's step yep. one. And, you know, <laughs> so you never know. Matt, Lex, thank you so much. This is really hey. cool. And uh, and if you're ever in Australia, please hit me up. No matter where you are, I'll, we can I, find a way. And he'll, be, he'll be at Jerry's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take you up on that, brother. And uh, yep. such a pleasure. Johnny, thanks for grabbing me. Um, I had to. And Mark, such, such a fucking cool Thing to have met you face to face virtually but um really really cool and uh, again you're a legend and um because i haven't seen it yet I'll, i'm just gonna say good luck brother thank you very much lex all, all right. right if i i'll hit you up when i'm in the states be out there take care yeah thanks Great. lex bye johnny <laughs> <laughs> am i the best or what <laughs> I love I you, take, man. Thank I you. Request, I was it was either that or I was gonna play uh flaming lips for you. I didn't oh! <laughs> I didn't you know me too well. I didn't, I didn't know. You're it like was, hitting on my like you're like, yeah, let's go through. How can we like make love love me? Yeah. Oh, such a <laughs> there we go. See? All right, uh Oh, episode 22. Uh tonight was to make uh it was Caroline's night to make a move and she missed. Okay. Mm. Going back in time, if she if she tells you, can you make that potentially work? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Every day, every day, every day of the week. So she tells me, I want to get Ferris out. Um, I'd say the votes are on Kitty. We, I'd say maybe let's not tell Kitty because you know she can't yeah. lie. Um, and we go one on one on Ferris, one on Ray, which is what Caroline thought I was going to do. Caroline thought I was going to vote for Ray, so obviously she had knew that. If the votes were coming on me, Ferris plays his item for himself, and she was assuming that I was going to vote for Ray. So if she if she tells me, I'd be like, yeah, let's do it. Let's flush Ferris's eye. This thing's been annoying me forever, and um and then Ray probably goes home because uh, Ferris would play his idol. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? I understand Caroline's perspective on that. She got a bit greedy. Alex got under her skin for like saying, "What have you even done?" Even though she's she, she wanted the move all for herself. She wanted it for and, herself. And she, she felt she made all the right reads going into that. So I yeah. I, said, I admire the gameplay and yeah. and I and I think I, you know because we'll get there. It's just you know it's just like what did you do? It's just like well I played it. It was like well that was was that your was that your only move? It was like oh well you know like I did shit I early. Defended but, I actually like, defended her after at, at tribal at final tribal. I turned to Ray and I said, bro, like she gets that right. She's is massive, you know, and why, why would you sit back and not try? Why would you, yeah. what, what would you prefer? Like mm -hmm. to take it to the final five and just be like, Hey guys, like it's a baller move. So, um, no, nah, kudos to Caroline. Won't I loved it. As I said, like it, it, it's one of those, if it hits, yeah. it's a completely different story here. And the fact yeah. that it doesn't like, you know, it's not, Oh wow. You're the worst player ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah. 
So, no. Uh, well, Ferris has had his idol for a month. <laughs> <laughs> and he also explains he doesn't see how any of this could go wrong and that mock is next and i was like oh no the rebels are solid caroline is on the idol hunt so is mock and uh don't worry raymond finds the idol in front of you guys <sighs> was was it hook line and sinker yeah man the, the, the thing that got me over the line was ray's hands were shaking like he, his hands were shaking. I think actually just generally because he was excited to do it, you know. <laughs> I'm again. sure he loves he loves yeah. doing sneaky stuff. <laughs> I know, but I was like, ah, oh, like not that. The thing is, I didn't really think Ray was in trouble because it was either Kirby or me. I felt, um, but in terms of selling me on it, yeah. And, and I, I, I really saw him. I don't know how I didn't see him planted, but I, I, I felt like I saw him do it. Hand was shaking. He ran away. I wasn't paying attention to Ferris and his terrible acting. Ray's a much better actor. Oh, a sporting uh, actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad we ended that confessional uh, 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 yeah. compilance there. Uh, nah, Ray yes. sold it. Did a good job. And uh, Caroline, the thing, Caroline and I did not stop looking. We were like, okay, we'll keep looking. Um, so okay. in that regard, we 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 did. We didn't stop just we couldn't find it so yeah i don't even yeah. know if there's one else well, well i love that you're you're just like you're, you're just like i checked that same fern like 50 <laughs> times and I'm, just, and I'm just like okay so <laughs> if listen you, to I, yourself <laughs> yeah yeah when you said that i was waiting for the follow-up being like i know we didn't find it there yeah yeah if only no. yeah <laughs> if only so uh uh, Ferris calls it the grenade idol. Uh, you are Goodbye. devastated. Uh, you are the rebel's target. I'm like, oh boy, here we go. It's time for immunity. Keep the balls going. And uh, you explain this pretty like right, right, with Lex being a musician. This yeah. this uh, did you did you also play a little hoop back in the day? Like I, like you know either I'm I'm obviously elementary school, but like junior high or high school uh, uh, basketball or. Oh, um, yeah. Man, I've got two brothers. I grew up as I, uh, I mean, I grew up in North Queensland, which is kind of like the Texas of the States. I used to play, you know, barefoot in the street, any sport. Um, so I've got two brothers. He, one of them was a really, he's really tall and he's really good at basketball. And so, um, yeah, we had a, we had a, you had to learn your jumper. Hit. Yeah, 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 and he's so yeah. I'm like, I'm doing, I'm doing, like, buddy, Dirk Nowitzki wannabe. Um, so, um, yeah, so I did play some basketball. Yeah. Because I don't think Ferris has ever seen a basketball. He's a very good looking man. He's a reject. I mean, Mark, so are you. You used to be like, you showed a picture going into this final week. It's like, who's that guy? I'm like, that's Fat Mark. Yeah, that's Fat Mark who's loaded up. Ready. I committed to the part. You know, I was ready to go 47 days. I'm glad I didn't go first. <laughs> did, did, you, did you gain weight before? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I built muscle, I torn both my hamstrings and smashed my ankles in the past. So I thought I'd better figure that out. So I did a lot of um, like leg strengthening stuff and then just packing in the food. Um, obviously, there's some time between when you arrive in Samoa and when you start. And I just, I asked the doctor, I'm like, what should I do? And he said, eat. So I reckon I put on almost five kilos in, in a week. And that's on top of the weight I'd already put on. So when they, when they scheduled my photo shoot for the last day, I was like, oh gosh. I'm, like a, I'm, a, I'm a thumb with a face you know um and now i chin down i'm like really really can you just put the camera up a bit higher <laughs> here hold on i i have a i have a picture of you uh from from back then when the when the season first started Let's see if we got that there <laughs> <laughs> it's mock <laughs> it's not <laughs> Uh, yeah. I, I, when, hey, it paid off seriously like i um those first few days when titans built the worst ever shelter known um in so australian survival history i wasn't even bothered i was just chewing through the fat cells so that was good uh, it was so funny because people there's two different strategies well, well there's multiple different strategies obviously but but there's mm -hmm. two two of the main schools of thought is either pack on the weight or uh ethan's nutritionist have told him and, and as what he implored when he when he went back for for uh uh, winners at war is mm -hmm. you just get your body used to two little meals a day like you know, so, so that that's that's the strategy i i'm a fan of put on the weight i mean like what watch naked and afraid yeah they don't they don't come in getting their body used to eating nothing no 
Dave Janat, I mean, Australia's golden god, he packed on weight for um, All Stars and he, yeah. you know, he looked like a supermodel at the end again. Mark Wales was pretty chunky into um, Blood versus Water. So, um, yeah, I was like, I'm going to need that. Yeah. Also, I kind of felt like it helped my look. Like, I, I felt the diplomacy, being a diplomat was quite, you know, intimidating potentially. So, I think yeah. being a fat diplomat is like, ah, oh, he's like, He's just like, ah, oh, this is a fat, fat doughboy. He's going to be nice. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. There's nothing to worry about there. And then and then you end, uh, you know, I have it in my notes. So you, it, we got Lex Luthor from Smallville. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <at the end. laughs> like, where, where the fuck did this guy come from? <laughs> yeah. 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 My wife says I look like Hitman, Um, that, you know, the video game. Yeah. Hitman. Yeah. 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 You're better looking than that. So mm. keep, keep it up. So, well, uh, we added the fourth ball. Ominous music for Kirby. Out, Raymond out. It's a showdown, and Mock wins his first immunity. Now is the time, and you finally got the cigar. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's so good. I was actually going to re- reference, like, a Cohiba. I might actually I'll probably get edited out if I reference an uh, actual cigar brand. So, yeah. um, I, I, I would have tried. I, I... <laughs> Watch my work. I, I you know, like you throw enough against the wall. They're just like, oh, we got. There's nothing left. So. Yeah, um, yeah, huge moment, massive. You know, it's really funny. I throw the ball up because um, I wasn't going to stop until JLP tells me, obviously. Um, and I throw the ball up so high, and I realize Caroline's standing right there, and that thing's it's actually got a bit of weight to it. And sure. uh, up, you know, it's like it's like you know, like shooting guns in the air. The ball's yeah. got to come down somewhere. I'm like. I was like, Caroline, watch out! I don't want to murder you on the um, on the on the bloody field, but um, no, luckily it missed her, and that's pretty cool. All right, so I, I don't talk about production per se because, like, mm-hmm. I number one, I don't care, and and we're talking about what we see. Mm-hmm. But uh, I've met Caroline, mm-hmm. and I and she's amazing. She is. She's so fun. We didn't see a lot of that. Mm-hmm. I have a theory, and, and, and okay. tell me, is it because she's a potty mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I was potty mouth too, so I don't think so. That can't okay. that can't be the the yeah, I don't know. Um just just they were just telling a different story. I think so. I think so. I think um she is funny, she is really funny. Um she is. uh and she's very warm, but she also, you know, like you can, the jacket thing happened, you know, uh, so it is kind of entertaining as well. So, um, yeah, uh, I, I felt for Caroline a little bit. The music, you know, like oh, the fumbles, you know, like, oh, but anyways, no, she's adorable. Kind of, yeah, uh, I liked her yeah. so much. I mean, so, yeah. as I said, I was, I was like, so, I, I remember when I first went for Pro Islands, Mark, uh, Mark Burnett goes, uh, he goes, he goes, if you cuss at home, you cuss here. I want you like, you know, like, and I was like, okay. So then like day two, Mark comes out of the, out of the woods. He goes, "Yeah, we're not going to be able to show anything from day one of you." <laughs> and I was like, "You?" He goes, "Yeah, kind of dial that back a little bit." <laughs> I was yeah, like, "All right." Yeah. I'm, I was like, "I was just taking your lead." You you said, <laughs> "Yeah, no, I think, you yeah, know, uh, maybe I think I yeah, a couple of times it was like, ooh, maybe you just tone it down a bit." But um, yeah, no, it's Caroline doesn't mind uh, expressing herself with some fortitude. She's great. As I said, I, 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 I and, and when I met her, it's because she's like, I know you, you're not gonna like me, or you don't like, and I'm just like, I, I'm, judgment's out. We're, we'll, we'll see how the night goes. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. How good did Caroline? How good did Caroline look at that final Ferris wheel where I'm, oh. I'm in pain. It cuts to Caroline boss mode. So oh know, yeah, she's just she, chilling. She, yeah. she just chilling. Like she looked pretty good. So. If they had not gone to one peg, and then. Mm. I think she wins. Yeah, me too. Uh, but, uh, but, oh, well. yep. Yeah. All right. So, uh, uh, Kirby knows she's in trouble. Mock says, You're a man, madman if you go to the end with Kirby. Raymond agrees. <laughs> I, I, I think we're all in agreement here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Kirby promised Ferris to take him to the end. Ferris is worried. Uh, Kirby's moves are more visible than his. It's true. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Kirby asks Ferris to play as idol for her. He never thought of that. And uh, Kirby knows she can beat Ferris in a final two. She's right. Uh, Ferris asks Mock for a final three deal. Mock shakes on it. I'm like, all right, there you go. The answer's always yes. 
Uh, Ferris off offers a final three deal <clears throat> with you, Mock, and you're like, okay. And the smiling assassin is now the fr frowning assassin. Time for tribal. It's a good looking jury, brother. That it might, is. once again, another reason this is one of the best seasons of all time, might mm -hmm. be the best looking jury in the history of, of Survivor. And Eileen set it off with those dresses. And every time we were we were hanging out for the dress. We we're like, what are you gonna wear tonight? <laughs> it's great. And then Valeria, Jaden, Brock and the Samoans. I, I think Eileen's dresses were better than than Valeria's. I, I mean, like Valeria's yeah, just careful. ridiculously yeah. stunning. So and that last one, I don't know, like it was from like an 89 prom. We won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> so but no, yeah, Eileen's incredible. bringing it. Yeah, she is. She, so, she, she knew she knew what the assignment was yeah. yeah so good as i said possibly best looking jury in the history of survivor uh <clears throat> ferris says he can beat kirby mm, okay uh ferris puts his puts on his idol while raymond is talking uh raymond says why is everyone laughing and he says it's fine I, what i was saying was boring anyways <laughs> classic raymond classic raymond. <laughs> is this guy the best <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he could go through three sentences without saying something self-deprecating. It was quite entertaining. Like, and he's a fan of the show. Yeah. Like big time fan. Like, like, like yeah. the, the fandom that you and, and uh, Eden have, he, he's, he's like that hardcore. He, COVID, he was a COVID, uh, COVID survivor baby. He discovered okay. in COVID and then yeah. Yeah, he went hardcore. So um, yeah, maybe not the childhood memory thing, but okay. yeah, he definitely super fan. Yeah. Sure. yeah so but no he loves it and uh and and uh, you just see it's just like what version of survivor are you playing <laughs> like, like what what, what in, in the, what metaverse is your the way because i'm sure there is in which you know he's the grand champion like like he's sandra diaz twine <laughs> so, that's what's cool like, as lex was saying we're all diverse right and so they're there and you've got to play the cards that you dealt and you dealt raymond and you're like <laughs> what, what, is, what is this you know so <laughs> yeah nah race great um and, and kudos for for ferris to figuring out how to play a raymond yeah mm -hmm. well yeah i mean ray was looking for protection at the start yeah. and he he was he thought who should i pair with kelly or ferris um and i think he made the right <laughs> choice so, yeah. Yeah. well the kelly the kelly ride's a fun one just i jump off before it ends sure. it's, there's a crash sure. landing <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's short so yeah. wait 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 mock has hair i mean <laughs> <laughs> mark are, are you gonna you're gonna keep that on the entire time aren't you this is my hair <laughs> uh that's a wig did you see i changed did you i'm gonna put my thing back now i'm no longer a contender oh yeah <laughs> i was just yeah. like oh please i'm so glad he couldn't see without his glasses i was like oh, oh no. No. <laughs> yeah that's funny all right. Uh, uh, so Ferris is wearing his idol, and everyone says, "Raymond, put on yours." He goes, "I'm putting on mine later. I want to be. A, I want it to be a big thing." <laughs> uh, well, uh, Mock, well done. Mock tells Ferris, "Don't use your idol." Uh, <laughs> and then it's revealed this is the idol that Raymond found, and Ferris is backing himself. Sorry, Curbs. That's three votes. That's enough. So Raymond is a better player than Kirby. Uh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Somehow in my notes. No. <laughs> no. And Raymond Just salutes. No. Raymond salutes JLP on the way out, <laughs> which is which is a whole. If you're paying attention, there's a lot of interplay between yeah. Raymond and JLP. That yeah. is some wanted, some unwanted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Possibly by both. <laughs> uh, Ferris landed his big shot. Good on him, uh, according to Kirby. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, next, uh, the penultimate episode, final four, two rebels, two titans. Caroline's the last woman standing, and Ferris promises top two to Raymond. Uh oh. Uh, day forty-five. Mock is working with Caroline, and uh, you uh, you think the jury uh, will like you more? I agree. Uh, we, uh, we're also reminded of the final uh, final three deal with Ferris. Caroline reminds us of her final three deal to get rid of Mock with Ferris, uh, but also believes that Ferris is vulnerable at this point. Ferris knows Raymond won't backstab him, and he's going to backstab Mock. And I'm like, no, don't backstab Mock! 
I have the hats. I don't have a Ferris hat. <laughs> Can I jump in on here? Yeah. So yeah, this is an interesting question. Um, if I don't win immunity, what does Caroline do? I believe at fi so at final five, I can't remember if I said this before. Um, Caroline and I said, look, if we get through this Kirby boat, we'll, we'll each go to fire for each other, right? So let's say Ferris wins uh, immunity. Um, they'll obviously vote for me. We put two on Ray and we go to fire. Unless Raymond chooses to try and vote with us to get Ferris out, of course. That if he does that, then I'm just chucking on Ferris. But um, I actually believe that Caroline wanted to take me to the end as well. And yeah. so I think that Caroline, you know, she obviously has a final three deal with Ferris. Good on her. I've got it too. Um, but uh, we would have, I think we would have both gone to fire like for each other, for each other at this point. And we did that I deal think... at five. So it was, I was like, oh, I wish I kind of showed that a little bit. But yeah. Yeah. I, I, I believe they would have done that, uh, that, that she would have done that as well. Like, mm. I feel the war between you guys is is very comparable to, to the war between Kirby and Ferris, in which mm. it, it it made you guys stronger at the end. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. So, we were so where, whereas, whereas I I think you and Caroline both felt you could beat the other one. Maybe maybe one more than the other. Maybe not. Maybe you both equally felt the same amount of I can beat mm. the other. Whereas mm. I I think it finally hit Ferris it is like. Yeah, this isn't. I, I'm not gonna beat Kirby. So. Yeah. <laughs> or even like, just the way that everyone was talking about Kirby. You know. Yeah. I actually think Ferris is better, but um, yeah. I think it was just that camp perception. Yeah. 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 The nonstop well, drum, which I was, you know, <laughs> same. <laughs> yeah, amplifying. Yeah. You know. So yeah. yeah, that's that's what I was gonna ask. Is I'm assuming you, Caroline, everyone out there was constantly in Ferris's ear, just saying, "Well, you can't keep Fer can't beat Kirby at the end, so get rid of her." I took a different approach. Um, uh, I was more like Ferris, just reflect on the on the jury, like just not not advocating to him a move, just being like, just look mm -hmm. at the jury. What do you think? And then just get his mind thinking about how am I actually going to win, rather than how do I get to the end? Because I think that kind of two different things and so um yeah so i think that was i was trying to not tell people what to do um i was just trying to get him to it's not, it's not that it's not rocket science but i was just like rather than advocate to him a move just be like what do you reckon rihanna Jaden, kitty valeria even though valeria and kirby had a massive falling out they did have a good bond it's just like i i prefer to just keep focusing on the jury because it seems less self-interested. That's my approach. Yeah. I, on, on pro islands, uh, early on, like, like when Lil first joined, like, you know, at the merge, I was like, Oh, we love Lil. That was very, very short lived. <laughs> however, <laughs> Lil. however, if you keep saying it, it's fact. Mm -hmm. So, so every, you know, so I'm sitting there, I'm just like, I'm taking Lil the end. Like everyone hates her. And, yeah. you know, and, I, and so I, I'm just like, oh, it's just like, don't take Lil the end. She, she'll she'll beat everybody if she's there. And everyone's like, yeah, no one can beat Lil. And I'm just like, really? And, and, <laughs> and, 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 and during tribal council for me, I'm staring at the jury to, to see the reactions to everything. Apparently, I was the only one on Pro Islands because, like, every time Lil talked, like, they would roll their eyes or make throat or vomit motions. Yeah. And so yeah, when yeah. come back from tribal, I'm just like, yeah, no one can beat Lil. They're like, yep, no one can beat Lil. <laughs> like, None of you look at the jury, huh? And I'm like, this is amazing. So, because if you, if the rule, the rule back then, well, if you say something twice, it's fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and yeah, if you have someone amazing. like me that's just like, like, literally in your sleep, I'm just like, Lil can yeah. beat any of us. <laughs> <laughs> the winds are talking. <laughs> the little winds. Uh, oh, wow. but that, but that's, yeah. I mean, like, that's that's what, like, I don't, we hear a lot that Kirby can win. And and I think I, I think there is a potential that she could. But I also mm -hmm. feel that there's the, man, the manifestation that Kirby can win because of, of all, these, all this communication. But, and what I saw on, at the end of this episode, it's just like, well, Mark has a really good shot of winning if he's there. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are, you Kirby or 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 anyone. F Ferris is a mess. The first two thirds of Tribal Council, 
God, the that, final travel. Yeah. That that close though, I'm just like. You brought it home. You brought it I home. was like, wow. I was like, the kid got like like wherever it was, like 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 he just looked, but it was like there it is. Yeah. That's yeah, the he magic did, that he you know. He got it there. Yeah, he did. Uh, and it was but so. Valeria helped him. Like, well, Valeria gave him both the chance because she kind of like she sort of like halfway through, she was like, all right, pause, hold the Reset. phone. You guys <laughs> yeah. need to amp it up. And Caroline didn't get shown. She she did also um, re- uh, improve too. But Ferris really crushed it at the end. So yeah. Now his like I like it was. I thought I was watching a presidential debate, and it was just like and like you know like. One like if, if, if like you know I don't a few eons ago in a presidential let's not go there. yes yes, yes. yes. Let's not, let's yes. Not back, back in the day like <laughs> a, a JFK yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now it was it was a bit and, and, and what Lex was talking about that 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 smiling in the smiling with the eye like mm. you saw that guy that we fell in love with all season long definitely that guy was yeah. back because you hurt a lot like you hurt that guy a lot that previous tribal yeah. And he and 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 I thought he got some back just from winning and you know and and having his wife there, but still that eye of the, the quote unquote eye of the tiger was missing. Yeah, he yeah, I think because he was in such a good spot, and then he he he's looking around, and he's like, it's me and two titans, you know, and Mark's coming at me. It was you know a few days ago he's in, he's deciding how he plays his idol making a speech to the to the jury as he plays his idol for himself and you know like he's giving a farewell you know um monologue to kirby so just that it was quite a short period of time in which his game had really changed so yeah um, i think he was coming to grips with that but he well, you, he, he, he's a little punch struck from you so uh well, well played sir so yeah. uh <clears throat> um let's see time for immunity collect balls get to the end mock you lose a shoe if you know, oh, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. I liked I like the Instagram post. That's uh cool. Ferris, uh, he lets his hair down. Mock does mm. not. It's in the notes. I don't know. I don't write these things. <laughs> uh 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 Raymond hates the net. I don't I feel oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like oh, the net also hated Raymond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, who hated who hated the other more? As a, <laughs> as a dol as a dolphin, I was watching that going free the free free Ray, you know, <laughs> like he's yes, well, there, there's... it almost looked like he was trying to go on his side and like going backwards for the balls. He just uh it was a mess. There's a tuna company that could be arrested right now. <laughs> yeah, true. That's true. He's gonna change. <laughs> But but thank you thank you Raymond for for television gold which which you're not looking for at that moment but he's here for it it's like hey over here yeah. <laughs> yep so uh, I'm 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 looking I'm like Mox got basketball form and Ferris looks like he hangs out with cheerleaders so. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> which if if i have the option of the two mock i'm choosing ferris's gig hey obama used to shoot hoops every every morning so I'm, i'll play with obama you can okay uh, well mock wins again he's crying i'm tearing up i'm just like is this happening is this do i have the winning hat because once again i don't have a ferris hat <laughs> uh, i think kirby has hats so here we go so uh ferris hopes mock is a man of his word i'm like i'll oh, stop it <laughs> <laughs> uh caroline tells mock ferris made a final deal with her too all's fair in love and war and caroline knows it's gonna be hard for ferris and pinky promises she won't write ferris uh uh ferris has a suspicion that something isn't right mock is convinced that ferris is lying and you are throwing your diplomatic shackles down and you are going to embarrass ferris in front of the jury you are doing what's best for you you are your own country and diplomats are nice and it's a huge uh, di- the, the fact that diplomats are nice is a huge misconception <laughs> it's true wow. where is where did this guy come from uh- Mate, you got to time. You got to time your run. Um, so yeah, I think yeah. I mean, I, I think Caroline thought that Ferris was considering voting for Ray, and I was like, never. He's never no. going to do it. So once I started throwing throwing at Ferris, Caroline says to me, 
you've really put me in fire, haven't you, Mark? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 We're, we're, we're playing Survivor. Yeah. Uh, well, Ferris is rocking the Dodger jacket. I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so uh, we bring in the jury, and we get a, hey, Curbs. <laughs> Curbs isn't feeling it. <laughs> Still some bitterness there. Yes, I felt it too. Did you yeah. see that post on Twitter, the Samuel Jackson with the gray? Hair? I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. That was funny. Hey, curbs. I was yeah. like, this is good. I believe yeah. I retweeted it. I think you did. I think maybe I saw it on yours. Yeah. With, with love. I love Kirby. Yeah. You, like, you subtract you subtract Kirby from this season. Not a top season. Subtract you, not a top season. Subtract Ferris, not a top season. Subtract Caroline, not a top season. So I, like, I love that. I love that Ferris had the confidence to be like, oh, hey, Curbs. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like most people would have been like, let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Let me yeah, gauge. Let me, let me, let me, let me check the barometer on this. Yeah. Dive straight in. Hey, Curbs. How's Jury Villa? Yeah. <laughs> Your Jury Villa, Villa, Villa video is good. So. Yeah. <laughs> I heard the pizza jury villa sucks. Is it okay? Is it good? Oh, it's oh, it sucks. Yeah, guys, I think it sucks. Kirby does not. I don't. I don't. She didn't answer, but I. Th I think the 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 pizza jury villa sucks. <laughs> that's uh, that's his only takeaway from that. <laughs> Just the pepperoni. The pizza itself is really good. It's a really good thin crust, but the pepperoni, yeah. it's it's the little ones, not the big ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not enough always. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, um, uh, uh, mock outs Ferris's final three deals. Kirby was part one. <clears throat> and if he's honors, honoring his deal as ride or die is done. Ferris is confused why this is being brought up now. <laughs> I'm just like, now's the perfect time. <laughs> so Ferris regrets not playing the idol. Uh, Caroline mm -hmm. says Ferris thought he made the right decision. And Raymond says that Mark is using jury tactics. That's right, Raymond. He is. <laughs> and Mock backs up that play with, this is totally fair play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> uh, and depending upon how you're watching Australian Survivor in the U.S., not easy to rewind. Really? So you owe me 30 minutes of my life back trying to get that one. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> burp, burp, burp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just okay. throwing that out there. Okay. Very yeah. difficult to watch Australian Survivor in the US. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, it, I, it was worth it, right? It was hilarious. I was one of my favorite moments. <laughs> so, uh, Ferris was never going to split. Uh, Caroline makes a, a death stare or em emperor look, uh, according to the internet. Uh, I love Caroline's looks. I, I don't, people I don't like the Caroline dislike out there. There's love too. She knows she's got love. Okay, there's love. I, 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 I'm not seeing it. <laughs> I'm with friends and family. Yeah. Okay. It's. Uh, I, I mean, but it, it's not surprising because we've seen this. This isn't just in the U.S. We've seen it in Australia as well. That when women play with the more of like this hard exterior, they just get crucified for it. I mean, look at Sam just two seasons ago in Blood versus Water. Like what she did to Jesse stitched him up. Apparently. Oh, I, I heard. I, I, are, <laughs> we, are we? Do we have confirmation? Did, did, did anyone mention that he get, he got stitched up? By Sam, only like seven hundred times, but oh, okay. it, it was an all-time like classic move. move. Yeah, it was yeah. an all-time great move, and she just got destroyed for weeks. It was like, what are we talking about here? Yeah, and I think Caroline's yeah. facing similar, you know, response, which is really unfortunate. Would you ask for any other enemy on your season? Uh, no, I love going up against Caroline. It was great. I thought it was great. To, as I said, like I, <clears throat> with. You and Caroline on one side, uh, Ferris and Curbs on the other. This season's not the same without these components. It's hard to get someone. Like, the thing is, is that it's hard to get people as good as Caroline and Kirby. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're so hard to get. So yeah. I just, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I obviously um, am in touch with Caroline a lot, too. I'm just, you know. Ignore the haters. She's a legend. So I'm sure yeah. she appreciates your support, Johnny. Well, and to have the balls to do that after seeing the backlash for for a Sam uh, yeah. Sam Cash, who who I, who I think is 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 a 
top Escalon Escalon player as well. And I, I love both Sam and Caroline and Curves. Mm-hmm. So I like you know, I it's it's frustrating because as you played a comparable game to Caroline, but mm-hmm. you're the guy, yeah, so it, so it's okay. I know, yeah, that's yeah, rough. It's totally unfair. Yeah, uh, that's garbage. Come on, be better. People. But you made a bonfire, man. See that bonfire? That yeah, was that, was <clears> that would have made Jesse Lopez cry. <laughs> I haven't watched New well, this, so That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see a Raymond versus Jesse fire making challenge. So oh my we, God, we we don't have time for that. So. Uh, Yes, uh, we're going to fire and poor Ray not making a flame as Caroline's flame is licking the rope. One of my favorite phrases in all of Survivor. That and pointing into the game. Mm. Uh, did we get, did we not get a pointing into the game uh, this season? I'm sure I said it. I can't remember. I don't. Know. I don't. I don't know if we saw it at all. I don't think. I don't think we got it. I did on on House of Villains. I did it and and like. And, and they, they they literally called me as they were editing the episode. They're just like, fair play. We we just locked it in. We got pointy in the game for you. Like, Are you serious? <laughs> They're like, we we gathered based on your 29 confessionals explaining <laughs> <laughs> Australian Survivor pointy into the game. We got it. Yeah, <laughs> pointy awesome. in the game is in House of Villains. So I was like, thank you. So Because we do not say that here. Oh. I was yeah. confused as to why this was an issue, but okay, I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, that's just an Australian thing. <laughs> oh, I had no idea. I was yeah. like, I was laughing along, but in my head, I'm like, I don't understand this joke. But okay, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, we don't say pointing in the game. So I worked it into House of Villains because I was just, I was like, I want to give a shout out to Australian Survivor where you put in. And so I said it like 20, 20 times and, and they literally, while they're doing the edit, they're just like, call fair play. And they're just like, we just locked it in. I'm like, are you serious? Like, Okay, that's 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 awesome. Yeah, I love you guys. Uh, we feel the love, man. So, dude, I I don't I didn't fly out to Survivor South Africa's viewing parties. <laughs> <laughs> Survivor UK. <laughs> yeah, I, I missed it. I missed it. All right. Uh, uh, so uh, Caroline's uh, flame uh, wins. We get a final salute from JLP to Raymond, and I'm just like, this is literally breaking my heart right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How cool, like, was, was, I mean, like, was it just always something with the two of them? Just like, yeah, yeah, Raymond, Raymond just loved the, like the magic of the game, you know, he's sitting there just admiring the, he's a, he's a details little guy, he'll go down little rabbit holes of music and issues. And so I think just the, yeah, the JLP element, he just loved it. And so, um, the skip, like he always skipped to when he yeah. voted, you know, like the skipping thing. Just the, drop his the, parchment, hold it yeah. upside down. <laughs> so it's great. It's great. Sad to see him go, but um, yeah, he could have voted for Ferris, but he didn't. So yeah. So no, it's it's it, it's real. I I I I think you you hit the nail on the head. I I think there is something magical mm. about about Raymond. I I, th- I think he's I think he's something special that if you're not paying attention, you miss it. Mm-hmm. And if you are, it's just like, oh my god, did this kid just give us gold the entire time? Him and Ferris yelling in the water, like that was. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> I have an idol. <laughs> that that was like one of our first clues, like like yeah, him, yeah, yeah. like him, him taking his underwear off, keeping a sweat, like that one was just mind boggling, and yeah. and pulling on a stick or whatever he was doing. <laughs> fighting a stick and losing <laughs> was not <laughs> stick one right now yeah. yes uh, but, that uh, is great yeah so uh we get a we get a love y'all and and a kiss and uh uh it is revealed that he is one of the top six greatest players in the history of survivor and better than kirby yay yeah, he, wanted, he wanted the distinct he wanted that distinction credit pass thing which was funny i enjoyed that yes so and 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 the most votes against post-merge true and he got all of them yeah did did you just buy that hook line and sinker still hurts me to this day johnny i don't like to talk about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah i did i thought credit. he was sick i thought he was sick i thought yeah. he was you don't so get credit sick. for the supporting actor but you <laughs> No, I thought I believed it. I mean, I, I was also if Valeria, I was open to Valeria's plan too, but I didn't know that we just needed one vote. I should have just, yeah, Eden, Eden would have put a vote, a stray vote. I should have, I should have thought. Eden would have. Eden would have been like, yeah. dude, it, just in case, like it doesn't hurt anything. 
I know. So, I know. But you know what? You know, actually, I, I think we're both wrong here because mm-hmm. Eden also loves the history of the game. And if he was asking for the most votes, most, most unanimous votes post merge in the history of the game, I think Eden's co signing that. Possible. I think Eden would have put a, a vote somewhere else because it, it came up when Scott quit. Oh yeah, the whole the, yeah, the Scott quit and then the Ray thing. It really played on my mind. Um, and Ray really didn't eat or drink a coconut for yonks. Um, and so he they was were probably Ill. sneaking him. Ferris and and Kirby probably sneaking him stuff at night. Yeah, but we were like, if he gets caught, but I, yeah, who knows? Yeah, he was probably. But yeah, he <laughs> really committed to the act. But he looked gaunt. Like you, you see him. Well, I mean, the next it, day he's pretty. He looks pretty ill. Well, um, he's not eating like he's missing most meals. He, as I, I said, know. he's probably just having a little coconut at night, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, but I was, I was trying to force feed him. The guy wouldn't eat. And, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> I know. Just get through. So yeah, <laughs> but if because if me, Val, and Alex were down down to vote for someone else, yeah, and then Caroline and Kitty. I think Caroline Kitty might have even got brought in on the plane. I'm not sure. Um, I think they've said afterwards, they said they may have been. But um, I think that they both were just genuinely concerned for Ray as well. Yeah. Up into, like At the point where I was, we were like, hey, what do you reckon? Should we go for someone else? Curbs. No, Rihanna, because um, Rihanna, uh, Kirby had one immunity. Yeah. And they were like, nah, nah, nah. And I was like, well, we only got three. So, geez, that looks pretty stupid. Three votes on someone. And, yeah, and he really wants it. the record. <laughs> Val, she took it like she took it so well. Anyways, yeah, that's this. We're going back in time here, but yeah, yeah I, I still, I still, I still don't think that. I, I think the move was curbs right there. Oh, Especially when she gave up the necklace. Yeah, yeah. When she get when she get when she gave the necklace to to Rihanna, I'm just like, here's the move. Hard to disagree with that. So, I mean, because he went through all like. He he betrayed wow. his he betrayed his own alliance. Didn't eat for three days. Does all this to get rid of the person that he betrayed his alliance to to that he did get rid of, like because that was the boat. Valeria's the boat, and he does all this to get rid of Valeria. <laughs> Worked out for him. I think he was minimizing threat level. I think it was I think it was concerned if he goes for good, he's even more. I don't know. It's hard call. He really. I, don't know. Like- I, I felt like he walked away pretty, like, pretty free of everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's kind of that was also a, possibly a good thing too. He was like, "Well, Mark will get over it because he's got nowhere else to turn," yeah. and then um, and the rest of his alliance is like, "Okay, fine." I mean, like, like, like Kirby would have been the big move, but but Valeria, like, I think Valeria is in at the tail end, uh, at the pointy end of the game. I think Valeria is winning some challenges at the end. Yeah, that was a concern of Ray's. I, th- I think her body is made to to win some of these final deals. Yeah. So when I whispered in Ray's ear um, when we got rid of Jaden, he was actually he actually said he said yes, and then he said, "Oh, wait, I got conditions." And I was like, "Okay, what are your conditions?" Because I'll agree to them all now. Um, and he's yeah. like, well, "Get rid of Val, Rihanna, and Kitty." I'm like, "Done, done, done." Um, so he was very concerned about. Um, he wanted to depower Kirby, and then he was concerned about. Um, challenge threats obviously someone like ray myself that's fair fair call so i think he just was locked in and he was a bit upset at me for like encouraging alex to play his idol but whatever um so yeah he had his idol. he got locked onto val and that's what he did but yeah taking kirby out would have been man if ray gets to the end with that on his on you know on his record yeah dangerous that's good all right uh grand final day 46 ferris has lost everything <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Mock and Tribal. <laughs> but he's going to dig deep because that's what Jeff Probst tells us to do. Uh, mm-hmm. He is playing for his wife and Western Sydney, as if his wife wasn't enough. Uh, <laughs> it's a big error. I, I, I didn't know Western Sydney needed someone so bad. Like, I've been I've been to Sydney, and they, you guys seem to do pretty, you know, it's good. It's yeah, I liked it. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh <clears throat> Uh, Mock landed some right hooks on Ferris's chin at Tribal. Yeah, you did. 
And uh, you are a ruthless player. You will destroy anyone. Time for diplomacy is over. It's war. And I'm like, wow, Jeff Probst would hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you gotta. I'm committed to the part at this point. We're going all in, you know. Um, I, I, and, and productions lose. They're, they're just like, oh yeah, yeah, come on. You, you got some. Uh, you got some more of that left on you. So, yeah. I loved it. I thought it was great. I mean, it. This is. This is. These are the confessionals you want in the final episode. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So uh, Caroline has been is underestimated. She's been playing the long game. And I'm like, there you go. And uh, it's time for our final champ, the wheel of uh, wheel of death. All right. <laughs> so uh, your wife's there. Is is it Saskia? That's her full name. Yeah, I call it Sass is easy. Yeah. Yes. So. Uh, also known as Dorothy, uh, if you see the Flaming Lips live. Uh, <laughs> Good call. Good call. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's, that's a story for a future podcast. We'll, 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 that, we'll do that on the Patreon. And uh, her first reply is, Mock is no longer fat. So that's good. She, uh, <laughs> she, decides, she decides to stay with the marriage. Uh, <laughs> I'm. This is. I'm just reading what the, what it says here, Mark. I don't. It's not your fault. I don't blame you. Uh, Caroline's husband Murray is rocking some Dolce and Gabbana glasses. Didn't expect that. Yeah. Um, Ferris is crying. I'm just like, yeah, you uh, you out kicked your coverage, brother. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all, for the record, all you guys did. I'll be. <laughs> hey, I'm the first to admit it. So. Uh, did you see um, Sass is a big fan of Shawnee from Australian Survivor? And it's not the exact Shawnee dress, but the red dress is like an Easter egg for, uh, for Shawnee. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I tweeted that out this morning. A few nice. Picked up on it. It did you guys have some, some oysters and mogs when you got back? <laughs> we did, yeah, quite a few, yeah. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Caroline reveals that she's outside of her comfort zone. I'm like, no, she's not. This is this, this is Caroline's wheelhouse right here. I think Carol. I, I think if they did, if they if you guys finished filming, they're just like we're filming season season ten in three days. Caroline's like, I I gotta go. Probably, yeah. Uh, uh <clears throat> let's see. Uh, Caroline uh, Ferris's wife. Uh, uh, comes out he's running she's the reason he's here and his community and western sydney and she's like man this guy's got a lot of things he's got to work <laughs> it's been busy <laughs> like, doesn't he have like a part-time job like geez <laughs> <laughs> all right well so so like uh so uh, it's the Wheel of Death. Uh, uh, JLP explains it's only going to get worse. And as the wheels turn, the pegs get smaller. I'm like, oh, my God. Matt Bischoff would hate this. So he likes bigger pegs. All right. Uh, so and uh, uh, Ferris is asked if he's concerned. He says, no, it's the Ferris wheel. Weren't ready for that, were you, Mock? I actually said it, too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Matt Ferris had it. It's funny for me. Yes. All right. Well, uh, Mock wants to win. 90 minutes in. Sharp pegs. Two hours later. It's Doc. Mock's in pain. He's grimacing. Old Jonathan. I'm like, oh, no. Nope. Not yet. Just testing out Jonathan's name to make sure that he hasn't changed it. Yep. And you look to Caroline. Caroline gives you the nod. She's fine. She's taking you to the final two. Nothing to worry about. Mock's done. You're crying, Mock. I'm crying too. Uh, this this was the worst moment. This was it. Not at tribal council. This was it. Just gone. So, no, I, I I I'm being under a hundred percent. I'm I have tears running down my face watching this moment. I got I was just like no. So because it yeah, it wasn't like did did oh yeah. It, it, but it's not like. Do you think he had ten more minutes, or do you, and I'm just like he ain't have two more seconds? You got <laughs> you got the Jonathan joke, and that and that's it. That's that's we're let's let's go out on a let's go out on a winner here, and we're done. So it it, it hurt. It hurt. I I uh, I was so proud of you, and uh, this you should be proud of yourself. 
Thank you. Um, uh, and then Dan says something about a crybaby. I did not know. <laughs> it never came out of my mouth. So rude. I thought he did great. So, uh, all right. Well, we go to final pegs. Nope, it's one peg. And uh, Mock explains Ooh. that he can beat either one of these in a final tribal. Don't worry I about don't, it. I don't remember saying that. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to get there first. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two and a half, two and a half so hours. Were in. the pegs like how hmm. like how much progressively worse did it get as it went along? Like, were you all right in the beginning and just got way worse, or did it just stuck from the beginning? It sucked from the beginning. Didn't enjoy it from the first second. And um, so combo, like immediately I'm like, ooh, ooh, not good, but mentally find somewhere else. And then, um, yeah, once the <clears throat> time set in my, they were swelling. They were, they were just they were so fat. And I was just trying to move. I was just trying to move it around. And it was three seconds at a time. Like, okay, one spot how long can I hold it for three seconds move spots I, I tried to put it you know like anywhere I could and then uh but as once they got that small it the yeah the combination of the swelling and then the size was just way too hard that one peg looked evil yeah Caroline on that one peg oh uh, gosh so again hats off to them they did it how do how do you think Ferris did it I think he was praying and I think he found a, I think he really disassociated. Um, I was trying to disassociate too. I disassociated for a while, but he, uh, he just did it because he had a bung shoulder as well. Like a, a broken shoulder bung was a bit of slang. Um, and so he couldn't really, like it's, some people were saying, why don't you hold yourself up with your hands? You try that. But, and I looked at his, I looked at his foot and he had it like the peg like right in the middle, which is where I think it hurt the most. Yeah. So, um, hats off to him. He got it done. He dug deep. He did it for Western Sydney and Man and everyone else. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. Jeez, playing for a lot of people. Well, Ferris wins final immunity, and uh, and now he has a chance to win. Finally, an uh, individual challenge win. Time for tribal. Uh, members of our jury uh, include Raymond laughing uh, hysterically walking in. I'm just like, oh, my God, I'm here for this. And uh, Mock says, uh, Ferris hasn't considered what Caroline could bring to a final tribal council. He's like, oh, fuck, what is this? It's mm -hmm. time to vote. I'll collect the vote. Uh, wow. Uh, look at Valeria. Uh, Mock's voted out. Sorry. Uh, distracted there. <laughs> it, it happens. <laughs> so, uh, and then... Uh, Finally, it's day 47. Uh, Mock is, or Ferris is worried uh, Mock could taint the jury. And we have seen this. Um, I tainted the jury for Lil. Uh, mm -hmm. Rob C. tainted the jury for uh, 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 to Matthew. help uh, tainted, tainted Matthew for, for Maraska to win. Mm -hmm. uh, Lex tainted it for, uh, uh, for Ethan to win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It happens. So I did just it. I was, oh, I supported Caroline, but I think, yeah, I don't know that I had that much influence, but yeah. yeah so, well, uh, Ferris is the first Middle Eastern man, uh, 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 would be the first Middle Eastern man to win Australian Survivor. Time for the Survivor breakfast. I have a problem with this. Should be the Survivor brunch because there's champagne <laughs> involved and possibly a melon. Uh, and as I've learned from the, uh, from the Simpsons, that by definition is what makes it a brunch. And Caroline says this could be her crowning moment. And I'm like, ooh, that's why we didn't get more confessionals. <laughs> <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> Tough crowd. All right. Final tribal. Mark, uh, Mock is uh, Smallville Lex Luthor. And then there's some little kid with a pseudo mullet in place of Raymond. Uh, <laughs> he really enjoyed that haircut. It's quite funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kitty and Rihanna look amazing uh, along with, along with uh, uh, the entire jury is beautiful. I mean, literally, I, I cannot. I mean, show me a better jury in the history of any survivor on any continent. I'll call you a liar. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, strong so uh 
Caroline explains the middle aged mafia. I'm like, hey, I know them. They're my favorite. Uh, there's only two votes that Caroline wasn't in on. I'm like, okay, this is pretty good. Ferris mm-hmm. explains that he had his misfits. I'm like, eh. Um, <laughs> uh, Mock uh, wants to start. I'm like, all right, this should be good. And basically, you just say, look, be honest, don't overreach. And uh, when do you feel you're most in trouble? And uh, Eileen asks, you know, what's your biggest flaws? Uh, I, I feel your biggest flaw was not listening to anyone, especially me. Um, giving Alex the idol was Ferris's biggest move. N- that went over like a fart in church. <laughs> I was impressed, but in general, people were like, eh. <laughs> so uh, Valeria uh, says, how many votes do you, do you think you're going to get tonight? Ferris what a says, question. Have you ever heard that question before? Oh, I think that's an amazing question. You like that? If I if I was on the in the position, I would have taken that as an opportunity to say, "This is why." Like I would just use it as a point to connect with each of the jury members. Yeah, yeah. No, rather I, I, yeah. than saying like five, you know, I would be like, "Okay, well." <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I thought the majority <laughs> was a fun answer. Like the majority yeah. and throw your shoulders up, but then the follow up is, "Well, let's say, yeah. for example." So yeah. yes. Yes, yes, so yes. that's the that's the opener. That's a disarming opener. And then, yeah. and then the follow, but yeah. So uh, then we get the just happy to be here, and uh, Valeria is just like, yeah, no, this isn't uh, this isn't working for me. I need some nitty gritty answers, like the nitty gritty dirt band, which <laughs> no one thought uh, anyone that had nitty gritty dirt band on their 2024 Survivor podcast bingo card, you have just won. Um, yes, and ego down. Uh, why are you here? And uh, I thought this is where it got good. And Caroline's just like, you know, here's my big move, you know, and 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 she's like, and they're like, oh, your big move was you played it wrong. And I'm just like, and I, I'm glad you defended her. I wish they had shown that. I know. That, that, was, that was, I think that's a bigger move than Ferris hiding an idol for two people that took 45 minutes to find. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ray was Ray. Ray was a uh, Ray was barrack. My Ray was openly barracking for Ferris, which is his right to. It's fine. Yes, um, but I think I think um, it just played into that. Yeah. So well, and you were openly uh, uh, backing yeah. Caroline. So you. Yeah. So, but as I said, it, it it hurt because as I I know great players and I know not great players. Caroline's a great player. She is. So, I mean, you finished final two on what I consider one of the greatest seasons, if not the greatest season of all time. Uh, send your apologies at Mumlicious. Or yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. yeah all good. right. Uh, Kirby, uh, were you scared? Uh, Kirby said, were you scared to sit next to me? And Karis, uh, Ferris put uh, the Kirby shield down and then uh, one on his own back. And the confusion of Ferris's idol for 39 days was his biggest strategic play and, Mar- and Raymond's fake idol. And he was on every level in- of the game, top, bottom, and middle. And I like that. Yeah. Yeah, solid answer. Very solid answer. So because... Honest. It's honest, too. It just, cut- it just made people think, yeah, you know? Well, That's it true. hits everybody because... It, it, yeah. Like, say say you're on top the entire time. They're talking to you. Say you're on the bottom the entire time. They're talking to yeah. you. Say you're in the middle the entire time. They're talking to you. Say you hit those other points like he did. He's yeah. talking to you. It's just like, like, every single person there is just like, oh, yeah. Like, you know, he's talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he was, ta- he was literally talking to every single person on the jury. Yeah. Uh, and you just want that, – that's what you want. Like, you're – you're bitter, your butt hurt that you're sitting there, and your butt hurts because it's not comfortable. <laughs> so you're literally butt hurt. <laughs> and you want to be understood. Everyone just wants to be understood. Man. It's true. That's all yeah. you really you're just like and, and so like like verbiage like that is just like mm. that's what I that's what I need. That's that's what my soul needs to be fed right now. And and mm-hmm. it, and I was just like, oh, here's the guy. So and um let's see, uh and and, and I I just wrote. Ferris got his groove back to close tribal. It's time to vote. Uh, JLP gives Raymond the point and shoot. 
pants. And Raymond's so pumped for this. He's like, yes, he understood yeah. the assignment. I've done this every time. <laughs> Give me those crayons. <laughs> Give me the crayons. So uh, we get the come on in. Here's the fam. And uh, uh, Ferris says, I told you I was punching up Kirby. Kirby says, I wasn't going to say, but yes. And then we get the uh, the reading of the votes. It's Ferris, mm -hmm. Ferris, Ferris, Ferris. That's enough. Unanimous winner. Yeah, another one. Yep. And uh, uh, Kirby says to Ferris, you did what you needed to. You deserve it. And uh, uh, first... <clears throat> First Aussie Arab to win is such a huge flex, and Raymond wants lunch. <laughs> he does. He wants lunch. <laughs> Take me up for some Subway. <laughs> I, Make it a foot long. <laughs> the fact that I end my notes with Raymond wants lunch it, it was the perfect chef's kiss on the Did this you see season. Alex's spelling of Ferris? Uh, no. He, he did like, it with like a P-H. P-H. Oh. <laughs> E Z, I don't know. It was crazy. It was pretty funny. I'm yeah. shocked. Uh, uh, we didn't get from uh, Raymond save Ferris. I, I maybe oh, Eden would have done that. Eden would have done it for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bueller, Bueller. Bueller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually thing. Firas. It's pronounced Firas. Uh, uh -huh. and most of the time out there, uh, I was calling him Firas, and um, so I really like that. I, I should have written. Us, like, deny, but um, but yeah. So the the, the joke may have been lost on Ferris. <laughs> maybe, maybe. So, uh, so yeah. So so you you chose not to vote, Caroline. You you went. Oh man, it was, I was I was torn. I was really torn. So my thought process was, I want to vote for Caroline. I want to vote for Caroline. I think I understand her game better than most of the jury. You know. Uh, I feel like some people don't understand her game. Like Eileen, we saw um, Caroline play for like three seconds, you know, uh, yeah. at Merge, and so there weren't that many um, Titans on the jury. And, and and she, I mean, and she'll tell you that she was the the right hand to Ferris. So, mm -hmm. so so she so Ferris has her vote. Yeah, yeah. She just wanted Eileen just wanted to hear Ferris, you know, fess up a little bit. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. But I think so. I was torn, I, I th and I think that I think Carolyn played a great game. And I think the viola, like obviously as a self-centered jury member, I'm like, yeah, the old move is pretty good. You've done really well. Um, the idol played, I thought was courageous. Um, however, Ferris's all of Ferris's idol stuff, I think, was quite impressive. Giving the idol to Alex was news to me. I did not know that. But you know what I really loved the move where Ferris identified the all women's alliance and then told caroline hey um yeah i bet you kirby's pitched a uh, i know that kirby's kirby told me that she pitched an all women's alliance to you and caroline's like yeah that's true and he didn't know that like that yeah that is uh, like you know looking he, at everything he explained, like, he explained all that in tribal yeah, he did. He did. Some people didn't understand it, but I yeah. knew it because I knew I was in on it on the on the beach. Um, yeah. And just like the combination of like that sophistication. And I had to be honest with myself as well. Right. If I won final immunity challenge, I would have taken Caroline. Right. Yeah. I wouldn't have taken Ferris. Would have been fun to take Ferris and throw down, but I would have mm -hmm. taken Caroline. So in my mind, I'm like, how can I? You know, it's like a head heart kind of thing. I was like, I, I think I think Ferris edges it out. Uh, I'm sad that Caroline didn't get um, a vote or two. Maybe Kitty. I thought Kitty was going to vote for her. Um, so I don't think she's deserved. I think she deserves not a donut. Would have liked to have got a couple. Yeah. Wait, uh, do you, would you, or say you win the final immunity, do you, I mean, you beat up on Ferris pretty good at that last tribal. Do you, do you feel like, you had him weakened enough for that KO or, uh, or, are, you, or are you just like, uh, I got that one. Let me like that. That that's my warm up fight. Let me, let me, let me just, let I still me. wasn't sure. Like I was also thinking like what happens if Raymond somehow makes fire and beats Caroline. And then I, you know, and then I'm facing 
like a Ray Ferris, like me final three scenario. So I still might have to, I've got to risk mitigate of going up against Ferris in the final two. Look, do I don't know. Like Ferris is an amazing player and he's probably the favorite to win. I just felt that um, I'm confident in my ability to talk at tribal council. Um, and I like, I, 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 as I said, yeah. I thought we got a preview and I'm just like, all right, this guy's going to whoop him. Well, and I don't know if it was that way out there, but at least me watching it, it looked like he was really stumbling out of the gate. So if you came out swinging, landed a few punches, like that could have knocked him off his game and he doesn't find that groove later on. That or the alternative, maybe he like needs a bit of that gets aggression back to, to, to fire, fire, fire up again. So, um, yeah, you never know. Never know. So it's yeah. played in my mind for sure. That's right. I did do a little, I did a little um, trial run of my pitch um, to the jury just before travel um, to like Eileen and co. And uh, I was suitably impressed. So, but we'll never know. We'll never know. Ferris is a deserving winner. I think he, he, he deserves it. So, yeah. So, but you're definitely taking Caroline if you win. I think so. I think so. Also, like story wise as well, like it's part of me is like, how cool is that? Taking, like, you know, I, I'm confident. Well, I, uh, I, yeah. But I'm like, that's pretty cool. Taking yeah. Caroline to the end. So I try and vote her off twice, fail. But then at final five, I had the chance to vote her off. I didn't. At final four, I had the chance to vote her off. I don't. And then if I win the final immunity, like potentially she wins and she takes me and she could be like, ah, I put you here. Um, but if I win, it's like I've saved her three times. So. Uh, I think people are asking for that same story on the other tribe with Kirby and Ferris. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, that would have been fun. Oh, well. All right. Where can everybody get a hat? <laughs> Frillsandspills.theprintbar.com. Check it out. T-shirts as well. I actually think the T-shirts are, you know, they're pretty cool. They're pretty comfy. Um, I, I like – I'm a big – I like T-shirts with the big logo on the front – not the, oh, I, uh, the oh. not the I'm 35 years old and I have it on the one side. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll do a limited edition. <laughs> limited edition, just on the front. Yeah, big one. It's yeah, really cool. Yeah. I got a Ukrainian. Uh, I got a Ukrainian chick um, to do it uh, just before the show, so that was. It's beautiful. Cool. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. There are actually a lot of um, frill neck lizards in North Queensland from where I, where I'm from. Um, so yeah, it's just. Yeah, I think it's badass. So yeah. Yeah. So so big, big across <laughs> the center. That's the the kids will get that. Okay. This is very much like like young dad at a brewery yes. kind of vibes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. That, that's that's <laughs> yes. That's 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 why when I go to breweries, I'm just like, do you have a shirt that doesn't have it right there and it has the big thing across the front? And they're just like, no, but that no. would be better, wouldn't it? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I was wearing a brewery shirt under my um under my black jacket at um at a uh, final tribal, and um that was like the one time the crew. Say, but they were like, "Oh, we love that brewery." It was like, "Yeah, yeah pretty cool." Oh, who, who's who, uh, what girl's red T-shirt were you wearing at the end? Eileen's, <laughs> and it was her pants. It was her pants the night before, the long um, tan pants, and okay. it got the best reaction from the jury because they were pretty stony faced. And then I got the reaction <laughs> from Valeria and Eileen. Like, seriously, like I strutted past them in Eileen's pants, and uh, they both lost it. So that's why the next night I'm well. Actually, I also wanted to wear a pink shirt, and I took the jacket off because that's when I started getting aggressive, Mark. And I wanted that visual difference. Um, and then um, you were wearing a woman, a woman's red shirt. <laughs> I, had the, I had the guns out, you know. Yeah, um, it's, 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 got, it's got the girls' cut sleeves. I was like, oh no, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> they needed to see that, you know. No, no one missed the nice guy. But like Ray was wearing Valeria's uh, pink jumper. Um, <laughs> Ferris was in the the infamous um, Nathan jacket. Yeah, I don't know what Caroline was doing, but um, yeah, we we're all we we're all because also that like it just created a bit more connection with the jury too. So um, yeah, it's pretty funny. And you and you started you started your tan on day forty two. <laughs> <laughs> I was very sun smart out there. I'm like uh -oh. I'm you know there there are more um, skin. The North Queensland has the per capita record for skin cancer and melanomas. So yeah, well, you got you guys like have a, 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 it's a thinner ozone. Yeah, a hole, a hole, a hole, a hole. In the okay, a hole yeah. in the ozone. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like I was a boring, practical, pragmatic player. I'm like, 
or almost always in a t-shirt and you know trying to look after my skin but at the end i was like okay let's let, right. the, let the let yeah. the tan happen yeah, yeah let, let's start this tan day 44 watch out when i come home i'm you're not going to be able to tell uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm no longer fat. So there we go. Uh, all right. So, Mark, where can everybody find you? I'm on uh, Instagram, uh, Mark T. Warnock, I think it is. Um, check me out on Instagram. And that's got the links from there, Mark T. Warnock. There we go. Uh, yeah. Love and the love. Thanks for the support. Thanks, Johnny, for your, uh, for your support and for coming down. And, um, yeah, hit me up. This has I been will. great. I will. Oh, real quick, Dan, where can everybody find you? Manchio 4 at Montio 4 I'm at Johnny Fear. Play no H and Johnny. Uh, Mark, are you, any plans to come to the U.S.? No. <laughs> I need a job. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I, I I went to the I went to the states for three a three month trip in 2010. I was couch surfing in LA, and then I went all the way up west coast. Uh, went across the Upper East Coast. But I love I love I love this. I really love traveling in the states. I had the best time. And um, so, yeah, I'd love to get back, but I just need to save some pennies first. I'll yeah. maybe, maybe I can see what I, that Zuzu is worth. We'll check it out. I, I thought you, I really thought you won. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> I, I was just, I was just like, I just got the, I just got this vibe. I, I think this guy went like, I, like, it, like everything. I was just like, man, I'm just like, they're, they're giving us all the little hints. Like he's got it. Like. He's, he's 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 so well spoken and, and and he's so friendly and 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 then and then when the, the diplomat shackles are out oh and i was like oh my god like I, the, story, <laughs> the storytelling was there yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it was um, no i agree with you johnny so on our unaired podcast last week uh when we were talking about who was going to win you went first and you said mark and i was like I ended up picking Ferris, but it was more of, mm. I thought you were going to win, but I didn't want to have the boring, I'm going to pick the same person. Pick so I went person, Ferris, yeah. but yeah, but I, I thought you were going to win as well. Uh, thanks guys. I mean, Ferris deserves it. He, he I'm very happy. Uh, and it's a, a great look, I think for the end of the season, it is, you know, like, it makes it a pretty awesome season. It's Ferris a great, yeah. I, so, so well, I'm he was Lex's pick. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so, Lex could be happy. If, if, you, if you thought Lex really loved the season before, get ready. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, That's cool. But, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I love you, Mom. Thanks, you, you, you are you are you are you are you're a, you're a gentleman, and you're a you're. I think you're incredible TV, and and I want to thank, thank you for everything you've given me, and 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 oh. uh, on television, and 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 even more so in real life. You're incredible. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, stay in touch i like you know this is, this is just the beginning brother so that sounds great no thank you so much uh thanks for the chance to join the chat it's been awesome and uh yeah let's keep it real and i'll see you next time buddy uh next next uh next premiere i'll be in australia done see you there